Hello my fashion queens and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina for those of you who don't know me and my YouTube channel is all about luxury fashion, unboxings, hauls, reviews, but I also really love combining affordable fashion pieces with these sophisticated items. So if this is something that really interests you, subscribe to my channel right now and let's connect become part of my YouTube community. In this video, I'm going to share with you a little secret of mine. Are you ready? When I was younger, I had a tiny bit of an obsession with a shoe brand. And the shoe brand I had an obsession with is Christian Louboutin. So since I turned 17 years old, I became absolutely obsessed with his designs and I would purchase his shoes every time I had the opportunity. And now I want to share with you my beautiful Christian Louboutin shoe collection. For those of you who don't know who Christian Louboutin is, he is a French, very famous shoe designer that is known for... If you don't know his name, you definitely know the shoes with the red soles. He became extremely famous because of the red soles. He came up with this idea that all of his shoes must have the red soles to be recognized. He believes that his shoes have the ability to make a woman look sexy, beautiful, and to make her legs look as long as he can. Honestly, this part is very true for me too. I purchased his heels because I felt like my legs just looked super long and extremely sexy and extremely feminine. I mean, when you wear a 16 centimeter heel with a platform, there's no doubt your legs are gonna look like a model. Many celebrities are wearing and were wearing these Louboutin shoes. When I started purchasing these shoes, I feel like they were at the peak. Everyone was crazy obsessed with this brand. I had around 40 pair of Christian Louboutin shoes, but I sold quite a few of them as I wasn't wearing them and my obsession went to the point where I was just buying to buy and then I realized I didn't actually need them. So now I'm left with 24 pairs. Keep on watching, subscribe to my channel, like this video and check out my shoe collection and the little story that I have with each and every shoe. Let's go. Welcome to my Christian Louboutin shoe paradise. I told you I was absolutely obsessed. As girls, we never have enough shoes, we never have enough bags, we never have enough of anything when it comes to what we have to wear. Let's start with these shoes. First of all, I was crazy obsessed with high heels. So most of my heels are 15 centimeters, 16 centimeters, and I would dance all night long and I would just have absolutely no problem standing in these heels for hours. These are a very special 20th birthday collection shoe. As you can see here, you have the 20th, the Christian Louboutin. They come in this super beautiful blue color. Of course, the 16 centimeter heel. I don't know what was my mind buying all these shoes with these crazy heels but i was always wearing them and the huge platform so because all of this over here is the platform of course they make the shoe much more comfortable to be honest i was quite scared to walk in these because i was scared that my foot would flop so i didn't really wear them a lot as you can see they're not that used they are a size 40 and really they fit true to size I'm going to continue with my stripper shoes. That's how I call them because they're like huge. But I love them and I consider them as really sexy and elegant. And I mean, there was a time where weren't we all obsessed with Louboutin shoes or was it just me? In university, everyone would know me as the girl with the super high heels and the red bottoms. I wasn't wearing these to university, obviously, but I was wearing them in the club. So these shoes, I purchased them for my birthday. I needed a special pair of shoes to match with my outfit. They have a bit of glitter over here. They're silver, but as you can see, they scratch super easily, unfortunately. And the 16 centimeter heel again, the huge 
platform and unfortunately there wasn't any size 40 so i bought a 39 and a half so these ones are a little bit small well i still got them because i was crazy like that you open them over here they are also a size 39 and a half so i just assumed that the other ones in 39 and a half were also going to be good but they weren't i wore these ones I can't even tell you how much. Like, look, the Louboutin is already, like, getting off. They are just so beautiful. Like, look how amazing they are. I mean, the leather over here in the back and the gold. I would dance on them like there was no tomorrow. I wear them so much, I even had to go and put another sole. And if you do take them to Louboutin, they're actually going to add a sole that has Louboutin written on it and you don't slide anymore and they don't get messy so i do highly recommend to take them to the store and let them add this sole over here because this way you're going to keep your shoes very protected i remember i would wear them with tights also during winter all the time imagine me during winter with these huge heels I don't think that they really represent me right now i mean the Louboutin super big platform heels are not really my style now i also don't go out as much before i used to go partying all the time now well i sit at home and also they're not really my style i have to admit next pair these ones oh my god I think they are the most damaged Louboutin shoes I've ever owned. These shoes, I got them as a gift for my birthday from a really good friend of mine. Well, that's not he's not a friend of mine anymore now, but he was a really good friend of mine at that point. I was looking for these studded shoes for so long, and he found them for me. And so he surprised me by purchasing me these amazing, amazing shoes. And since I really adore them, I, of course, wore them so much. So as you can see, these ones are very, very, very damaged. I'm sorry, shoe. You know what's crazy? When I was younger, because this Louboutin shoe obsession started when I was 17, 18, and it's just crazy how I wasn't really careful with these expensive things because they're expensive shoes. I mean, they're like 800, 900, 1000, 700. And honestly, I would trash them in clubs. I would pour everything on them. I'm not impressed with doing that, but I was young to my defense. Now I would never, I protect all of them, but look in the condition of these shoes. I even lost a spike. And these ones, I took them to change the sole, but I didn't take them to the Louboutin store. This is the other pair, also extreme. Like, what did I do? Still, I kept them because I love them. Oh my God, even here. Broken leather. So, this is how a pair of very used Louboutins look like. They have an elastic over here. And, oh my God, I even broke the elastic almost. I just saw. But honestly... These ones are a size 40 and a half. So because they're a bit bigger, they don't bother me at all, at all. I'm telling you, I used to be in them for hours. When I toned down a little bit, I purchased a pair that has smaller heels. I realized that when I go to parties with my parents and when I go to formal events, I cannot wear these shoes. So I purchased shoes that were more classy and they have a smaller heel i think this is uh 12 centimeters they also have a platform over here but these ones are not very comfortable they're size 40 but they're not comfortable over here in front they really 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 hurt me inside here as you can see i didn't really use them a lot they're quite new then i found another style that i really love i got these ones the color is super beautiful, like this fuchsia, but they are a size 39 and a half, so they're a bit small, and they quite hurt me over here where they have the elastic as well. The heel is smaller, but they're so elegant for summer. Now, this is the kind of shoe I would wear more than the high heels. Of course, because I adored that style, 
I purchased another style that looks exactly the same, just in a different color and a different material. So this one has the leather over here, but then it has this um, wooden, I forgot how you call this, whatever, wood kind of material. I thought they were so pretty for summer as well. And they also have the elastic in the back. I love the bronze kind of color of the shoe. As you can see, they're a bit damaged over here, over here. Because I realized I love the fuchsia color, I purchased another pair, guess what? In the same exact color, just another style. These ones are also with very high heel, just not the 15 centimeter one. I think this is the 14 centimeter one. And they close in front, just a tiny bit of platform. They are a size 40 as well, and they fit very good, and they're quite comfortable. I would purchase shoes even if they wouldn't be my size. I would still purchase them just because I really love them. Like, for example, these ones. I don't even remember the name of the style, but they're quite old. I love the heel, and they're size 39. They're so small, I cannot wear them. I'm looking to sell them. I fell in love when I saw this heel. They have a platform over here, which is the amazing part. I mean, from here until here, there's a hidden platform, which makes the heel higher than just this, but you only see this part of the heel. And then you have a platform over here. There are this beautiful shade of blue with the gold in here. I mean, I love them, but as you can see, they're brand new almost moving on to my most favorite collection so these are my most favorite style of Louboutin shoes I have them in this red color and I'm gonna show you all the other colors they have a 15 centimeter heel the platform I find them elegant but very sexy at the same time and they are I can't even tell you. They're extremely, extremely, extremely comfortable. Honestly, wow, they're so dusty. I have them also in this pink color. They're all size 40, but these ones are, I think, one of the first ones that I got. I wear them. You can't even imagine. You can't even imagine how much. I changed the sole for them. Also, even the stitching over here is like going off. But I must admit, these shoes, for the amount of time as they've, that they've been worn and the conditions that I wear them, they hold themselves really good. So Louboutin shoes are really just amazing. Even the patent leather over here, like it didn't get ruined at all. It's just still intact. Oh, no, 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 no. My most ruined pair of Louboutin shoes is definitely not the one with the spikes, but it's these ones that look like they need to be thrown away but i just love them too much these glitter shoes unfortunately the glitter is not very resistant and look over here it opened up throughout the whole shoe and this is after i already took them to the store and i glued them so over here the glitter went away over here but i mean they're completely damaged over here, everywhere. But they're just such an amazing pair of shoes that I just can't let go. But I mean, they're, I can't, I don't know where I can wear them. Look, they're completely damaged, even here, everywhere. Breaks my heart. They're so damaged here. Mm. Wow. I didn't know that they look in this shape. They're very bad. My babies, I'm so sorry. No, but these ones, I didn't take them out a lot. I tried to really take care of them, but because they have this glitter, they really weren't resistant at all. I think my most favorite pair of Louboutin shoes are these Python ones. I, I absolutely adore them. They're also size 40. They're a good size, but look at the color of this python. I mean, it's blue with silver. They're just unbelievable. They're amazing. These ones I really kept well. I didn't wear them out because if I would wear them out in a club. I was a little wild child when I was little. Now I am much different. I mean, I just loved to party. I loved the fun life. 
These ones I kept for more special um, events. As you can see, they're not very worn. Another pair of shoes that I absolutely adore, but I unfortunately didn't get my size because I didn't have them. I love them. I got these in Paris. Obsessed with finding these. And when I finally found them, I just was so excited. I was like, I don't care. Just give me whatever size you have. So they only had a 40 and a half. They're a bit big, better big than small, especially over here. But I mean, do you remember when like spikes used to be super cool? Yeah, there was me wearing these super cool spiked shoes. Amazing. I didn't wear them that much, but also over here, they got quite ruined. The leather is extremely soft, so you must pay great attention to them. And also these spikes quite fall off. The heel... Again, huge, but it's the same as the shoes over here. They all have the same. They're, they're the same style, just different colors. My latest pair of Louboutin shoes are these super limited edition beauties. They have this silk strap that goes all over your foot. Got these in Miami. Look how insane they are. They're really great. They work with jeans with everything i find them so cool still so cool even if the heel is super high i honestly didn't even wear them unfortunately i have to start wearing them more often i just don't have wear but they are insane i love them another pair of very high heels are these shoes that at the time i liked them now i'm not a big fan with black pink white I don't know, I didn't really wear them. They got a little bit stained over here. Let me show you my sole shoes. These are my 18 year old Louboutin shoes. So for my 18 year old birthday party, I uh, needed to have, of course, Louboutin shoes. And unfortunately, again, there was no 40, so I got a 39 and a half in these cuties. I mean, how beautiful are they? I scratched them, of course, they're a bit small, but they worked perfect with my dress and with these belts over here. Ah, they're just so beautiful. They have satin over here and glitter on the back. I also have a pair of sandals, of course, huge high heel. I only have high heels, like super high heels. And I realized this maybe a year ago or two years ago, I realized that I don't have heels that are not small and I cannot walk around in 16 centimeter heels. But it was my signature. For many years, the Louboutin super high heels, they were really me. I don't know if they still represent me now, but I still love them. I would still wear them anytime. Honestly, it takes confidence to wear such high heels and like walk on them like you own it. These ones are not very comfortable. They tend to hurt over here. But I mean, also, Louboutin shoes, everyone that I speak to, they say they're not comfortable. But for me, the styles that I showed you are extremely comfortable. These ones, not so much. Honestly, they hurt over here. They're like... Mm. They're size 41 because these ones run very, very, very small. I found them very pretty for summer with like a long dress. Of course, I had to buy a so Kate pair of Le Boutons. But why on earth did I purchase a size 39 when I'm a size 40? I don't know. Is it possible that my foot just got bigger? I don't know. But I didn't wear these ones a lot. I love them. They're like really so, so sexy. Look at this. Amazing. But unfortunately, I cannot stand in them. They're so uncomfortable. They hurt me over here, over here, over here, everywhere, everywhere. And the fact that they don't have a platform really, really kills you. So Kate are, I don't think, very comfortable. They have this elastic over here in the back to hold your foot. They're amazing, but just impossible to walk in. So now they're just uh, here in my collection, just sitting, getting dusty. This next pair of heels, they have uh, quite a story. Look how sexy they are. Meow. They have um, laces that you can put up your foot and then laces over here. They hurt you a little bit, but they're very, very, very hot. Unfortunately, I went in these to the cinema. To my defense, I was wearing jeans and then the high heels because I would always be on high heels. 
and I fell off the stairs and I broke the heel. I completely broke the heel of my Louboutin baby. I broke it. And uh, I told myself that I'm going to find a way to fix it. So I kept them. I had the opportunity to go to Paris and took them to the store. They have a really good atelier in Paris and um, they can fix anything. If they fixed my broken heel, they can fix anything. So as you can see over here, there is a cut because this is where my heel was broken. So basically they managed to add a new sole on the broken part and stick it back to the shoe. And ever since, my shoe is just perfect and I just keep on wearing them and now they're as if nothing ever happened. Moving on to the winter... Ouch. As I was saying, winter kind of uh, Louboutin, I only have two pairs. These ones, winter, so please keep in mind, winter, snow, winter, snow, high heels, me, yeah. I would be on snow in these shoes also, guess what, guess what, I didn't really care that there was snow, there was whatever, I would wear my high heels. Unfortunately, again, I purchased a 39 and a half instead of a 40. I'm sure they didn't have because they were super popular at that time. And so uh, now they're not that comfortable anymore. They have a 16 centimeter heel. They're massive. Look how high the heel is. They're insane. But they have also a huge platform. I love that. And my last pair of Louboutin shoes. Spikes again. These super nice more subtle maybe not really that subtle but eh, more subtle compared to the other shoes that i have boots with spikes on the back i wear them quite a lot i have to change their sole but it didn't get damaged that badly yet they're super comfortable suede leather amazing and uh, they have a zipper over here bam this was it for my Louboutin shoe collection. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you liked my collection and my story. And uh, I hope that you love to see the pair of Louboutin shoes that I have. I must admit that my Louboutin shoe obsession is gone. I obviously still really love the brand. I just am not that obsessed with it anymore. I mean, I would purchase other kinds of shoes right now and other styles. I would definitely purchase a pair of heels that is more convenient and that I can wear more often in more events rather than something that's super high because I don't go out anymore and I find it more classy to have a smaller heel. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your most favorite pair of shoes. I'm very curious to know. If you love this brand, if you love the red sole, and which one was your favorite from my collection. Let me know. I'd love to know your style and I'd love to know what caught your eye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video. Follow me on Instagram also. It's Krisha Style. And let's connect on the social platforms. Have a wonderful day and an amazing rest of your week.